Hello everyone, this is Aegis here bringing you the ace match between Arizona State University and the University of Arizona here. I have Hostka playing Zerg for the Air University of Arizona and I have in the other corner Blackout also playing Zerg for Arizona State University. So here we have a ZVZ, both of these players, high level diamond players at ranging around 2600 points. So we will see a pretty good Zerg battle here, hopefully, and not just Banelings and more Banelings and Speedlings. We'll see what these players are able to pull out to win the game for their school here. Um, again, this is the Collegiate Star League. This is the ace match. Collegiate Star League has 144 schools playing in it every week. And I have casted games 1 through 4 also, so you can go ahead and check those out here on my channel. Uh, hopefully the video quality is improved over time. Um, we've been, I've been trying to improve the video quality each time um, I cast. Um, a lot of the earlier games didn't have the best quality, but hopefully this game will work out quite well. Um, we do have Hoska here going to be sending out a scouting drone as well as Overlord in this direction to check if his opponent is over here. Blackout doing the exact same thing except checking over here. We do have the uh, so, um, spawning pools coming up for both players as well as gas. Blackout just a little bit behind on his gas, but it won't matter that much uh, because of the cross spawn positions. However, the, the rush distances on this map are still quite short. Um, it is oftentimes a Terran favored map if it is a TVZ. But uh, here we do have a ZVZ, so we'll see if these players are able to pull it off for their team. Uh, we do have the spawning pools now finishing up, as well as the gas uh, here getting utilized by Hoska. Gonna be going for that zergling speed, probably, or going for some roaches. We'll see if uh, which tech paths these players choose to go as soon as uh, they build up a nice drone count here or drone count that they uh, feel comfortable with. We might be seeing an expansion from Hoska very soon. Uh, no, we don't. We actually see a spine crawler. He's throwing down a spine crawler, and um, we do have a roach warren coming up for a blackout here. He's getting gonna go for roaches and not banelings or not or speedlings. Uh, or, yeah, speedlings. So we have a banelings nest coming up for Hoska. I don't like this choice against roach roaches roaches are able to tank a lot of damage so um, we'll see if hoska is able to get this up quickly enough before uh, blackout has enough roaches to deal with mass speedling and banelings uh, we do have the overlords coming over to check out each other's base oh no blackout is not actually moving his overlord he's scouting with a zergling gonna check for a natural expansion this drone is idle here um, Hoska is now completing his banelings nest and we will soon be seeing a, a pretty strong production of lings and banelings if he's going for a bust we do have the first roaches out for back blackout now and he is blocking his ramp as best as he can with these units he is now positioning his roaches individually. He's going to block off this ramp to make sure that Zerglings and Banelings cannot run into his base. We do have uh, Lings being rallied over here to the watchtower for Hoska. He looks like he's going to be going for an attack. We do have speed halfway complete for Hoska. We also do have the second gas coming up as well as 10 Lings popping out right now. We also uh, see Blackout getting his roach line we're gonna prevent in any banelings busts here, but if Hoska is able to morph enough banelings, he may as well be able to bust up into here. We do also see a Evo chamber upgrading Zerg missile attacks level one here. We see Hoska testing up the front, not gonna be able to bust up there just yet. He's probably gonna morph some banelings soon, as we still see a continuing Zergling production. We also see a lair coming up. For blackout it's almost complete we'll see if he's going for one base mutas to, to deal with um, Hoska here we do have the roaches blocking the ramp 
and uh, no Banelings yet, but we should be seeing Banelings quite soon. Hoska is also going for his natural expansion. He's uh, looking. He does know about the roaches, but he's not trying to. He's not going to go for roaches of his own. Um, the ZVZ is quite an interesting um, match here. So we also do see the Gleal reconstitution here for the roaches. Going to allow them to move much faster. Uh, on and off creep. Uh, so we also see the burrow coming out for blackout as well as the uh, ooh, 19 banelings for Hoska. He's definitely going for the baneling bust here. He wants to bust up this ramp and do a lot of damage in the main. Uh, he's still, he's now making uh, quite a few drones during this. He's going to try to bust in, do some damage, and still be okay in the long run. We also uh, have the Baneling bust is imminent now. We got the Banelings charging forward. The Roaches going to start spitting away, taking out the first line and the second line of Roaches, taking out all these Zerglings here. This lone Roach is going to have to back up here, getting surrounded by these Zerglings and taken out. Uh, Blackout is going to back all his Roaches into this choke here. The Zerglings are unable to good, get a very good surround. And uh, looks like the... Bustin has failed for Hoska, so he's making more lings. I don't quite agree with this. I think he should be going for some more drones for his naturals. He does have an expansion advantage. Uh, we do have Blackout pumping out a few more extra roaches to deal with the bust in here. Um, Hoska is unable to make good use of these lings. As of the moment, we do have the roaches pushing out with their speed and burrow. So these Roaches could do a lot of damage here. hoska has got to rally his Zerglings back to his base and make some more Lings, get some more Bane Lings up so that he can defend himself well here. Uh, Blackout is going to take a pause here. Uh, it does. I don't actually know which one of these armies will win in an exchange here to Hoss. Blackout is backing up here. The Lings getting a good surround here. Oh, and the Burrow. The Burrow Micro is going to save these Roaches to fight another day. And the uh, super fast regeneration speed here of the Roaches is helping quite a bit. Uh, we have the Zerglings coming up here. And uh, oh, a miss rally point getting taken out by those reinforcing Roaches here. Hoska is actually looking to be in quite a bit of trouble here because of the Burrow Micro coming out from Blackout. Blackout just pumping more Roaches. More links coming out for Hoska. Hoska is in a really bad position here. He does have a lot of extra money. He's not vomiting larva with this queen. So he is quite a ways behind. The Roaches are going to be able to take out his natural expansion. And Blackout is going to be able to secure his own. We do have a lair coming up for Hoska. Um, he has pulled all of his drones off of gas. He's going to be trying to pump out as many lings as possible. He's getting these emergency spine crawlers here, but they're not going to be on, in time for these roaches. We do have the uh, speedlings running up in here, but roaches are just available to greet them on the creep. Roach is going to bust into these spine crawlers. Drone's pulling off, and it looks like Hoska is unable to hold this. This game is going to be taken by Blackout, and uh, Hoska does GG, and Arizona State University has won round 6-3-2 in this very epic match here. So um, I will be casting more games. I think the next ones I'm casting are going to be uh, the Rochester Institute of Technology versus uh, the University of... I'm not sure actually. I have to check. Um, it's, it's a school in Pennsylvania. I, I'll have that up for you very soon. So uh, this is Aegis signing off.